Welcome to my DIY electronics video. In today's project, I'll show you how to build a powerful 12B 75W switch mode power supply using components recovered from old power supplies. We'll go through the entire process, including designing a custom PCB specifically for this setup. If you're interested in making this project yourself, I've compiled all the details into a handy PDF file, which includes the circuit diagram, component list, images, and step-by-step -step instructions. Just leave a comment if you'd like the download link, and I'll be happy to share it. So, get ready to dive into this exciting build. Let's start crafting your own 12V SMPS power Now let's go through all the components you'll need to build the 75 Watt SMPS. You can see the, the component list on the screen, and remember, this list is also available in the PDF file for easy reference. First, gather each of these components as listed. Once you have them all, we're ready to start placing them on the PCB. Carefully follow the designated spots for each component on the PCB, matching them to the layout provided. This will help ensure everything is properly aligned and connected. Take your time with this step to make sure each part is placed correctly. This will make the assembly process much smoother. If you'd like to customize the PCB design to suit your specific needs, feel free to request the editable Eagle CAD files. These files will allow you to modify the layout, component placement, and trace routing to match your requirements. With all components now in place on the PCB, it's time to start soldering. Make sure to solder each component carefully, using just the right amount of solder to create a solid connection without causing any shorts. Take your time to make clean, precise joints. This will ensure a reliable circuit. Avoid excess solder, especially around closed pins, to prevent any accidental short connections. Once you've completed soldering, double check each joint to confirm everything is secure and well connected. Be sure to use a proper heatsink for the switching power MOSFET, it's essential for safe and efficient operation. Apply a layer of heatsink paste between the heatsink and the switching power MOSFET to ensure efficient heat transfer. Once the paste is applied, securely fasten the heatsink with a bolt to keep it tightly in place, allowing the MOSFET to release heat effectively. Let's move on to the next steps. Before powering up your SMPS, ensure that all connections are secure and the circuit is properly insulated to prevent electrical shock. Plug the power cord into a grounded outlet. The power on LED should illuminate, indicating that the circuit is energized and ready for operation. Use a multimeter to accurately measure the output voltage and current of the SMPS. The voltage should be approximately 12 volt DC and the maximum current capacity is around 5.5 ampere. To test the SMPS under load, I will connect a DC motor to the output terminals. Use a clamp meter to measure the current drawn by the motor. As I manually increase the load on the motor, the current draw will increase. 
However, the output voltage will remain relatively stable, demonstrating the SMPS's ability to maintain a constant voltage under varying load conditions. We are now ready to test the BLDC motor. The pulse width modulation signal, generated by the blue box, controls the motor's speed. As we adjust the PWM signal, the motor's speed will change, and consequently, the current drawn by the motor will fluctuate. This demonstrates the SMPS's ability to supply the necessary power to the motor, even under varying load conditions. To further evaluate the SMPS's performance, we'll measure the current drawn by the BLDC motor under varying load conditions. By manually applying load to the motor's shaft, we can simulate real-world scenarios. As the load increases or decreases, the motor's current consumption will fluctuate. However, the SMPS should maintain a stable output voltage throughout the test, ensuring reliable power delivery to the motor. The SMPS has a built-in safety feature. If the motor draws more than 5.5 amps, the power supply will automatically shut down to protect itself and the connected components from potential damage. This ensures safe operation and prevents overheating. To reset the SMPS after a safety cutoff, simply turn off the power supply. Wait for approximately 10 to 15 seconds to allow the capacitors to fully discharge. Then, turn the power supply back on. This will reset the protection circuit and allow the SMPS to operate normally. To test the SMPS's short circuit protection, we'll deliberately connect the output terminals together. This will trigger the short circuit protection mechanism, and the SMPS will automatically shut down to prevent damage. We've successfully designed, built, and tested a 12V, 75W switch mode power supply. This project showcased the power of DIY electronics and the potential of recycled components. The SMPS proved to be reliable and efficient, delivering consistent power output under various load conditions. Want to build your own? If you're keen on building your own 12V, 75W SMPS, leave a comment below. I'll provide a downloadable PDF file containing detailed instructions, circuit diagrams, component lists, and PCB images. Additionally, if you're interested in customizing the PCB design, let me know, and I'll share the editable Eagle CAD files. Let's dive into the world of DIY electronics together.